Hello everyone. Today we're working on a Massey Ferguson 6475. Today we'll be replacing one of these hydraulic fittings. Before you get started, you know, bleed all the hydraulics down while the engine's off and everything. What we've got going on here is one of the quick connects is no longer holding the hydraulic hose. Uh, sometimes they will do that when they get worn out. Um, another thing that's kind of common with this type of thing is somehow water gets inside them and they will crow it up and then you can't put the hose in anymore. I have disassembled them in the past, cleaned them up, put them back together, but to be honest it only gets maybe an extra year of life out of them. So usually I just replace them. Start off what we're going to do is pull off the fitting here. These usually just slide off if I recall. It's been a spell since I did this. spin on them to free them up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they can be a real bugger sometimes to get alive. There it goes. Unfortunately, you have to take them both off because it drops down in here as part of the oil recovery system when you connect and disconnect these fittings. So, I didn't want it to fall apart like that, but we'll get it back together. Not a big deal. <clears throat> there we go. Just go ahead and throw that back in there. See, it just pushes back in there. See what I mean, how it overlaps here? That part goes inside there. All right, now we got that free. We can go ahead and remove this. Ahead of time, bleed down your hydraulics, you know, because this could be under pressure and you don't want to get hurt with hydraulics, high pressure hydraulic oil. Now we get to unscrew it. It shouldn't be that tight. I need to get a trusty hammer. Let me get a better angle here. Wow. This should not be on there that tight at all because these have a uh, O-ring that keeps them on. Just being a bugger, guys. Let's get the bigger bar on it. See if that helps. It worked, so that's good. There we go. Also, I have oil pan under there ready to catch stuff. Yeah, this one had the rubber ring. I don't know why it was so tight, but you can see, just a little bit comes out. So that's all that is. But they can be taken apart. There's like a little split area here. If you get to crank it on, you can get them apart. But the problem is, is when you do that, all the balls will fall out of this. And it's a fun time trying to put them back together. So here's the new one. And yeah, she looks clean. Nothing to them. I mean, you can see it. And uh, the surface is oil enough. I don't think I'm going to need to oil this oil ring too bad. See, so, a little oil there. Let's go ahead and oil that oil ring. Throw it back on. I'll try not to tighten it as tight as it was before because that was ridiculous. Because that o ring is what does the sealing, not the threads on this. So you don't need any tape. But what you can do to help stop these from corroding is when it gets snowy out or something, get, get that snow off of there. That, that was the only time I had issues with these is when the snow got packed on them and water got into them. So and the reason this one's been replaced so much is this side gets the most wear because it's the lever I like to use in the cab. So if I'm just using one remote, that's the one that's going to get connected to. 
of course you want this snug enough where when you push and pull the hydraulics it doesn't come undone I didn't see I didn't get it that tight it's just bombed out o-rings in there that's good I'm gonna go ahead and take our pieces sign them together and move over there it's easier to put them on and off I'll tell you that right now try to drive on moderately evenly there you go it's pretty much on right there you can see in there so it should stop popping off now and I can get back to putting some rows together and get the baler hooked up